Hello everybody, this is Jeff and I'm here with the MIDI rack called the Chord Memorizer. And this is a uh, simple emulation of the Logic, I don't know if it's a plug-in or what, I don't know. I haven't really worked with it, but the idea is pretty cool. And what that means is for each key on your keyboard, you can essentially save a chord. And with Ableton, we can do uh, a little bit more than that since we can process each uh, MIDI note with a chain individually. So I've added some arpeggiators uh, and a pitch plugin, which I mean that, yeah, so you could do note length and random and whatever you wanted to, but these seem like the most useful to me. And then all of that is processed at the very end uh, to stay in whatever key signature you would like to be in. <coughs> so let's take a look at how this works. Uh, there's 128 chains and uh, if you use the auto key, it will select it for you. So you don't have to actually name those. You could if you wanted. I'm not going to. Um, all right, so let's assign a chord to this. Let's make it a major chord. So now only when I play that note am I going to get a major chord. And obviously we can pitch it up and down. We can arpeggiate it. If you turn this one on, it's going to arpeggiate the whole chord. And if you turn this one on, it's going to go through the chord. So that's why there's two. Okay, so now let's, uh, you know, this is C, and this is the note C sharp. As we can see, it's being transposed uh, to what we want there. So let's actually make this, um, would that be uh, F? So there's, and now if we do four and seven, And um, maybe do another pitch plug-in and bring it down an octave. There we go. Oops. Right, and um, then let's make a third chord. And so basically I'm looking at my scale tones here to decide what note I want it to be. And... Um, Actually, I'm kind of happy with the two, so let's do that, and um, let's create this, and go with that. Is that like an 11th? There we go. And, um, you know, maybe drop that down. Anyway, so that so we have three individual chords saved there, um, and you know you could put arpeggiators before and after this too if you wanted to do that globally instead of. That's nice, and uh, so or we can move it to the front. Cool. And this, um, you know, having these chords in the left hand lets us play some sort of melody in the right hand. You know, so you could get some mad stuff going on there if you knew how to play a little bit better than I do. All right, so uh, as far as like the difference between this and Logic, with Logic you can actually select the notes on a piano roll, like a keyboard, and that really helps, I think, with creating the inversions. Um, but um, you can still set up some interesting passages here, and it's per key, and that's kind of the kind of the important part, I think. Uh, so definitely usable, and uh, definitely gonna start making some mad beats with this sucker. Yeah. All right. Talk to you later.